Hello friends, I recently learned of a story of how a few Australians treated some French tourists on a Melbourne bus. And I've left a link to the story in the description of this video. Basically what happened was a group of French women were singing a song in French on a bus, so a group of Aussies decided to give them a traditional Aussie welcome by swearing at them, threatening to kill them, and then smashing the bus window. And since hearing about this story, I've attempted to look at this event through the eyes of the Aussies who carried out these acts. And I think I've figured out exactly where they're coming from. They obviously don't want anything foreign coming into their country. Because this is Australia, and we want to keep it full of people and things that are exclusively Australian. You know, full of top blokes like Russell Crowe, a true blue Aussie... Wait, no, he was, um... He was, he was born in New Zealand, wasn't he? Well, there's plenty of other movie stars, like, uh, Nicole Kidman. No, wait, she was born in the US. Or Guy Pearce, born in England, damn it! Now that I think about it, they're not the only bloody foreigners. You got Mel Gibson, Noah Taylor, Naomi Watts, Sophie Monk, Sam Worthington, and Isla Fisher, Neil and Tim Finn, Olivia Newton John, all three of the Bee Gees, Peter Andre, four out of five members of ACDC, as well as the previous singer Bon Scott, Colin Hay, even Farnsey and Barnsey. But saying that, at least the leaders of this country are from Australia. Oh, except for except for Penny Wong and uh and Julia Gillard. Damn, our country's Prime Minister is a foreigner? That's okay, next election we'll just vote for the other guy. Oh no, wait, Tony Abbott is a foreigner too. Oh, plus there's 12 members of the Australian Senate who were born overseas as well. Plus 14 members from the House of Representatives. But I'm pretty sure our Queen Elizabeth is from Australia though. Plus there was this chick, this dude, and this chick who were all born overseas as well. Farlap, Maccabi Diva, The Sport of Cricket, The Pavlova, Beer. Almost all of our agriculture, such as cattle, sheep, bananas, and pineapples, surfing, and the beach. And we definitely don't own the Southern Cross. Especially when countries like New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, and Brazil use it on their flags as well. Even the English language is a foreigner to this country. Australians don't even own Australia, so that means Australia isn't even Australian. Ah! Oh, the story I was talking about before took place on a bus. Buses aren't even Australian. And those Aussies were being racist towards some French people who were simply singing. But singing, singing wasn't introduced into Australia. Because the indigenous Australians, they sang all the time. However, racism, racism was introduced into this country. So therefore, racism is technically foreign. So in hindsight, those Aussies on the bus were committing a foreign act, and being way more foreign than those French women, because simply by singing a song, they were being more Australian than everyone else. You know where subscriptions were invented? Jamaica. Okay, that's not true, I made that up.